Hello, welcome. Welcome to round four of the Dunton Technical Centre Championship. New track for uh, everyone again tonight. This is at Blue Moon Oval. Um, first oval I think we've ever done in the league, so uh, um, this is going to be interesting. Usual format, qualifying the group fours. Have you ever watched? See the guys uh, do a bit of practicing in the group fours. So yeah, first time we've ever done a, a oval track um, in the DTCC, so it's going to be really interesting. I thought we've got a bit of depleted field tonight, I'm hoping uh, Dan can make it in a bit later. But uh, So it's going to be fun, I think. Six cars, it's going to be one massive tow fest. So we'll just check if everyone's all ready. And then we'll get underway for qualifying. So we're actually co doing qualifying tonight. Um, because it's going to be a slightly different uh, format tonight. So last already. So if everyone's ready, we will start qualifying. And this is going to be interesting because we're going one at a time qualifying tonight. So they will all take their turns doing two flying laps with the champ going in championship order so the first driver going out will be Chris Pengelly and he will do two flying laps and then we'll take the average of the two and set the grid so here we go, let's just double check all the settings are correct uh, 18 laps, roll in start that will change when we get there. Fuel and tyre is right. Qualifying 15 minutes and away we go. So this is uh, say a new format for us um, because it's an oval. We thought we'd uh, rather than allow people advantage to sit in in the tow, we would let uh, we'll do one at a time qualifying. So this one will Chris Pengelly will go out first. There he goes. So Chris will do two flying laps, and as he uh, comes across the line for the second flying lap, then Chris Lewis will follow him out, and we'll see how it goes. And then follow that. Mike Ross will follow him, and then Harrison, Blake, and then Jimmy Coleman, and then finally Alex Pierce. So two flying laps, bit of pressure. What tyres are they going to start with? It looks like uh, Chris is going for the Super Soft in qualifying. And that means he'll be on the mediums for the race. So here we go. Across the line. Coming up last corner now. And then he'll start his first flying lap. One at a time we go. First time we've ever done this, so it'll be interesting how it goes. So Chris finishes out lap. Here he goes for his first, uh, first flyer. Across the line now. So here we go in the first corner. The first corner is critical. This is what uh, defines pretty much the speed through the entire uh, lap. Got to get this one right. Not touch the walls. You come out. That looked pretty neat and tidy from Chris. Now on the back, long back straight. This foot to the floor. This this corner is flat, so this is purely about the power of the car. Around the Oh, left-hander. And then into a, a quite a tricky last corner. There's only three corners on this track. But this one is not quite flat. You have to lift, coast it a bit. And then back on the power as soon as you dare, but not touch the, uh, the wall as you come out. So, coming across the line now. Chris's first time is 51.114. So, make a note of that. First lap down to his second and hopefully we've got Chris Cross coming out behind him. Let's go back on board with Chris and have a look how is he doing. Is it 50 51.1 for his first lap. How's he doing on his second lap? Let's get rid of that, we don't want that. He's two temps down on his second. Interesting, so What's he going to do for his second lap? He should have uh, Chris Lewis coming up behind him. 
So Chris crosses the line now for a 51.408. So there he goes. Right, back on. Let's see all these on the track now. So here goes Chris Lewis into his first flight lap. Let's see how he's doing. First checkpoint. He's up. He's already well up. Three and a half tenths up. So Aston's a quick on the in the uh, group fours. Well, uh, he's on mediums as well. So Chris Pengelly was on the super softs, and Chris Lewis is got, is now on the on the medium. So uh, he's three quarter of a second up. So this is a bit stonking. Uh, Donkey in first lap. He have smashed the fastest by a long way. Can he go in the 50s? Not quite. 50.1. Well in front though. Let's see what we can do in a second. Here we go. First time in split. Can he go even quicker? Oh, 56 thousandths behind though. That's well. Uh, that's well in range. Might be able to, the tire wear is on, and so is the fuel deg. But he's obviously losing fuel as we go through. So uh, he's a tenth down. So let's see what this comes out at. This is going to be probably uh, mid 50. Let's have a look. Crosses the line now for a 50.165. So that's a great pair of laps there so consistent beautifully done right so next up is Mike in the Porsche let's have a look on his first fly up so big gap over a second between them in the front two so Chris Lewis is a 50.1 and um, Chris Bengali is a 51.2 wow Right, so let's see how Mike's doing. First flyer. Mike's also on the super softs. Whereas Chris Lewis is on the mediums. Interesting. So, Mike coming around the last corner. Let's see what that uh, Pepsi Challenge Porsche has got. In. Oh, just touched the wall. Pushing hard. Pushing very hard. Unfortunately, that's going to compromise his second lap as well because he's now slow across the line. So, he does a 51.459. That puts him so far uh, two temps behind Chris Pengelly. Can he make it up on his second lap? Let's have a look. Crosses the line now, so he's two temps down on his fastest. So this is going to be interesting. He did make quite a big mistake though on the uh, coming out last corner, so he can still make it up. Let's see as we come across the. Uh, so yeah, he's gone slightly quicker. He's, he's gaining a bit of time, so if he gets a clean run out of this last corner, he could get a couple of attempts off. Let's have a look. He was in the 50s in practice. There's a 49.9, according to that. That doesn't look right. 50.105. 51.055. So he beat, he's in second by, let's go right on to, into uh, Harry now, so, um, Mike Ross has gone into second by uh, four thousandths of a second. Let's see what um, Harry can do. His first flying lap, can he get anywhere near Chris Lewis? He was stonking at 50.1 uh, average. So Harry's also on the super softs. Let's have a look first timing. We're not getting a timing on there, uh, interesting enough. I guess this is his first lap, so it's not giving it to us in the... Uh, let's see what his first lap comes across as. Variable. Here we go, coming across the line now, he does a 50.354. That's competitive. Five, four. So that puts him 
just under a tenth behind Chris Lewis. So let's have a look, see what he can do on the first split. And he's purple. He is purple. So he's got a tenth to make up. So if he can take a tenth out of his fastest, this will put him on pole. Provisional pole. Of course, the top three go at the back with the usual rules that we always apply in DDCC. But he's... He's up on his fastest as well. This is going to be super close. I think if he gets a decent drive out of here, this is going to be the fastest lap. And I think this could be provisional pole. Let's have a look as we go across the line. It's a 50.051. 50.051. What's that do? I think he's got it. He's got it. He's quickest so far. So... Jimmy Coleman, what can he do in the sister BMW? Wow, that's too, that's a very, very quick second lap from Harry. <laughs> a 50.0, that's, uh, that's, so it gives him pole, provisional pole by, actually no, sorry, no he doesn't. No, I think Chris Lewis has still got it by a, just under a tenth. No, it was quick, but it wasn't quite quick enough. Yeah, no, Chris Chris Lewis has still got it by 50.1 versus 50.2. So anyway, let's see what uh, Jimmy can do. First flying lap. So Harry's got the fastest, but he's not got the best average. So he's on mediums. Does a 50.7. 50.794, and he's on the mediums. So, second lap. Let's see if he can improve on it. Here we go, first split coming up. He's slightly up, he's three thousands up on his quickest. Um, he's got quite a, a lead on, on uh, Chris Pengelly. He's got, yeah, half a second on the moment on Chris. So uh, Chris did his on the, the super softs as well. So this is going to be interesting. Chris is going to be uh, at the, towards the, the front, but on mediums. This is going to be a very interesting first race. So here comes Harry for his second lap. Let's see, uh, sorry, this comes Jimmy for his second lap to see what he's got. He does a 50.7, good lap, second lap. So, that puts him in a very solid third. And then last but not least, here comes Alex in the Peugeot. What can he do? His teammate's already in the back of the field so far. He's um, so close between the... the top few runners but uh, yeah so Chris Pengelly is actually yeah he's last so let's see what uh, see what his teammate Alex can do in the Persia the Persians are not very strong around here okay I mean up to finish come at last corner tricky corner as I say you've got to ease it off you don't break you just lift a bit and hope you can get the power. That looks pretty wide, so he's a bit low on the power, but it looked like a good run out. So let's see what Alex can do. His first timed lap. So he does a 51.4, which is actually not bad. That's competitive to Chris, his teammate. 51.412, so I'm going to work these out live. So Chris Pengelly's average was a 51.26. So if Alex can take a couple of temps off, he's yeah, one, one and a half temps down, unfortunately, which probably means he's not going to make this. So it looks like the Peugeot is going to line up, well, in terms of times anyway, at the back. Um, it means they will be uh, up the front for the uh, start of the race. But as it stands, I think Mike's going to be on pole. Anyway, so here we go. Last corner. Just driving for the line now. What can he get his last lap? Let's have a look. It's a uh, 52.4. I don't believe that. That didn't look right. So I think we're done. I think we're done. 52.4. I didn't quite believe that. But uh, so let's look at the order. And we'll save that and we'll filter this. Puts it into order. So I do it live Excel, live on YouTube, custom sort. So we'll do it by 
Uh, bridge. Uh, Smallest to largest. So, we have Chris Lewis on pole. And we will put the times in the chat so we can give the guys the results. So, we have Chris Lewis on pole. A one. One. A fifty point one. We have then we have Harrison. Where's my H gone? On a fifty point two oh two five. Then we have Jimmy Coleman. Please for that. On a fifty point seven five eight, then we have Mike Ross on a fifty one point two five seven, then we have Chris Pengelly. Very unusual for Chris. He went. This would be <laughs> not used to starting in this place uh, on a fifty-one point two six one, and then finally we have Alex on a fifty-one point nine oh six. What a great session that was! Right, so we're going to get ready for the race. Right. Alright, Dan's joining us. So Dan's going to be in the back. That's good. We're going to have That's great news, Dan's coming back. No, oh, so they can't, why can't they? Jimmy's in. Uh, I wonder if it's not finished qualifying yet. Right, we're gonna wait for qualifying to finish. That's right. So we can recap that. So we gotta wait for the clock to uh, tick down. So, fastest there was Chris Lewis on the 50.1. I'm just going uh, to we'll wait for Dan. Then we've got Chris, uh, then Harry, great uh, second, the 50.2, so less than 10th between them. So this is going to be a good race. Then we've got Jimmy on a 50.758, Mike on a 51.2, so a bit of a gap. Top four, the top three, are a bit, a bit of a gap. And then you've got Mike and Chris Pengay super close, four thousandths of it in it, and then Alex Pierce in the back, bringing up the rear. So we'll wait now for the qualifying to finish. Because qualifying has to run down. Dan uh, Charters is going to join us, which is great. He's going to be starting from the back. Um, so effectively, what will happen now is the top three will be reversed. So we will have Mike Ross on, on pole. Chris Pengelly second, Alex Pierce third, third Chris uh, Lewis fourth, Harry Blake fifth, Jim Col uh, Jimmy Coleman sixth, and then Dan seventh. So what will happen now is they'll be on the race, and then hopefully he will exit. <laughs> there we go. Exit now if they can enter. That 
actually no. Let's change the settings first. So I practice rice. Laps, roll from the start, change event settings, there we go. Alright, I can all out enter. Make a reminder. This is a uh, going to be an interesting race because the uh, they can uh, they cannot change tyres they can only refuel this is unusual that uh, group fours usually don't have a problem with fuel but in this race they will so they're going to have to stop but they're not allowed to change tyres so what a good qualifying session that was. So, we look at the championship tables. We've got Chris Pengelly leading um, 300 points at the moment versus 246 for Chris Lewis. Big lead. Um, but he's going to be starting towards the back. So, let's get this underway. Let's get our. So, let's change the grid order. So, we have Mike first. Uh, Chris Pangeli in second, Alex in third, then we've got Jimmy Coleman in fourth, Harry in fifth, Chris Lewis sixth, and then Dan in seventh. Let's double check that. So Mike was fourth fastest, so he's on first, then Chris was fifth, he's second, Alex was sixth, he's third, Jimmy was third he's fourth Harry was second so he's fifth Chris was fastest so he's sixth and then Dan is ready to go right let's check they're ready oh don't want that This is going to be some fun times. Make sure we've got Robin start. Yes, we have. Uh, oh, good, 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 good. Make sure the tow is real. Alright. Here we go. First oval race of the DTCC. ready to go. 18 laps. Tire wear could be a factor. I think it probably will. It's uh, obviously quite an easy track in terms of A3 corners. But uh, fuel and tyres are going to be interesting. It's just going to be one big toe fest. So rolling start. As per usual, so we've got Mike up front, followed by Chris Pengelly. With his team up behind him, Alex, then Jimmy following up, and then we've got uh, his teammate behind him, Harry, Chris, and then we've got the Aston of Dan Late Joiner, but he's more than welcome to start. In fact, he'd probably have been on pole, he's probably a bit, a bit lucky there. But So here we go, we start the race, 18 laps in it, here we go. Mike leads us. Let's try and get a better case. He's already trying to break the toe. You can see this, this is going to be one huge slipstream infest. It's all going to come down to how they come out the first corner. So Mike's uh, a bit of jumping going on. So Chris is in second. Let's get the standard down. Let's see who comes out first. Out of the, oh, they're all nice and smooth out the first corner. That's good. So Mike's leading away down the back straight. We've got Chris Pengelly in second. Oh, we got a move going on between Jimmy. Jimmy's having, making a move on the Persia already as so he comes down the inside. Side by side as we go through. Oh, a bit of bumping his, rubbing his racing, but it looks like Jimmy's through. 
So Jimmy moves up already. Look at this. Down a little bit off behind. So he's only going to come back. Alex has gone a little bit wide. So we've got go. Oh, some real rubbing and racing. I love it already. Look at this. So Alex has got the uh, BMW of uh, Jimmy right behind him. And we've got uh, the Astons coming in as well. We're going to go through abreast in the first corner. Here we go. How's this going to play out? Oh, this is great stuff already. I'm loving it. So we got the Aston and the BMW side by side. Then we got a huge battle. We got so we got Mike's uh, lost the lead. Here we've got a, a three-way battle. Looks like Chris Pengelly has gone past Mike, and it looks like uh, we've got Jimmy's gone past the parent down the inside. Look at this. Here we watch Jimmy, and he's now got Mike in his toe. And we've got a bit of a jump in there, a bit of lag from Chris Pengelly. Let's have a watch with Chris Pengelly, shall we? Let's watch some of this. Let's try and get on car. There we go. Bit of understeer creeping in, and there's a big battle going on behind us. Let's have a look behind us. Let's come out of this and look behind. Here we go. So it's, it's, it's today. Where to look here? So it looks like Mike is going to have a go at. Is Mike going to have a go down the inside of Jimmy? Yes, he does. So we're down the third lap down already, and they're just all slipstreaming together. This is going to come down to who makes a slight mistake and gets out of the toe. And it's like Mike has just been completely hammered there in the toe. He's slotted back in. It looks like uh, Chris Cross is going to get past him. So Chris Lewis is going to... We've got side-by-side -side action behind as well. This is stunning. Look at this. Look at this. Three, four abreast. It looks like Snooze has dropped off a bit. But these guys are just pack racing. This is phenomenal. So if we got the moment, we've got Jimmy Coleman. So... Uh, Harry and uh, who's that? Harry and Chris Cross having a little barge. What they don't want is to touch the wall because then you can lose the toe. Then it's like Chris Pengelly is going to get passed by Jim, uh, Harry as they go into turn one. It looks like uh, we're going up the front. It looks like uh, Dan, Dan Charters. Where's he come from? He's up to the first. I did not see that at all. Dan has had a screamer. He's come from right from the back. He's up to first. But he's got Jimmy right behind him now. He's going car now. Here we go. So Jimmy is right behind Dan. We'll watch behind here. Comes from the rear of Dan's car. Got a bit of uh, G Jimmy and Dan. Good mates. They're always battling. Looks like a bit of bump drafting. I think Jimmy is trying to get Dan to break the toe so these two can get away a bit. Sitting right behind. Oh, Dan's gone a bit wide. Hits a rev limiter. Jimmy's still right on his tail. Oh, so close. This is incredible stuff. Let's go on board now with Jimmy. He's right behind. He's going past. There's another bit. Can we see? No, we can't quite see. No, we're not quite there. He's in the, in the mirrors. He's going to go around the other side. Go have a look. No, he's behind. So, let's, Dan's go through. Dan goes through. Let's see if we can get on Dan. In car. Can we see uh, sideways? Oh, yeah, he's lifting. He's lifting to try and let uh, Jimmy through. Interesting. So, let's watch Jimmy. Jimmy's leading with Dan right behind him. Then we've got ha uh, Harry in third. Chris Pengelly is hanging on really well in fourth in that Persian. They've got a bit of a gap now, so obviously we've had a bit of contact. If these two... I don't think we can go back. No, we can't. These two have got to work together. Is there, can we see anything there? No, they're a bit behind. They're a bit behind. A bit, uh, let's try and get out of that. Don't really want to watch that. Right, so back at the front. So these two have got the bum draft together to work to get up to the front. So we've got Jimmy and Dan now battling for the lead. We've got Sir Harry right behind them. That Aston is quick. They begin to drop a little bit. Chris Pengelly, he's done a really good job to hang on as much as he can. Then Mike, uh, here we go. So Mike and Chris Lewis are doing a great job towing each other to catch this lot up. It's going to come down the stops. It's going to come down the fuel. There it goes. Two abreast, three abreast into the second corner. That's uh, Harry's up wide, Jimmy's up wide, a slight nudge, but he's still in the toe. They're slowly dropping Chris, but this is, if we watch here, these two are doing a brilliant job. Brilliant job, bump drafting. You can see they've almost pulled themselves up to Chris Pengelly. This is what you need to do in these races. You need to keep bump drafting, give yourself a bit of a boost, and you can uh, catch people up. So let's have a watch. You've got Dan's leading. Colin tightly by the two BMWs. BMWs look good here. And look, we've got some action going in for the... Uh, oh, Mike's on the inside. That didn't look good. He lost the momentum a little bit. He has, but I think he's still in the toe. Chris is trying to shake the toe from him. So they come down the straight. Let's go back to the front. There. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. 
so Dan's done a 49.3. That is so quick. Shows what the toe can do. It's a phenomenal driver for Dan. So the, these three are like making a break now. They're doing the sensible thing. They say, right, we're not going to squabble. We're going to try and make a break here, get a bit of a gap, and then we'll fire this amongst ourselves. Dan's leading. Aston is strong. Let's go back and see what's going forth. And we've got the same in uh, fourth place now as well. If these guys are clever, they will bump draft them uh, as well as a, as a force uh, threesome. We've got two threesomes going on, and unfortunately Alex is behind. But they'll sit behind each other now and just try and get themselves back up to the leading bunch. So we look again. I mean, the gaps are not that huge. We look so. Uh, it's 1.7 seconds, so it's not a huge amount. And it's coming down. It is coming down. So I think this is working. We go back to the leaders, working as a pack now. Trying to pull away from the guys in front. Let's have a look. So the gap was. Yeah, they let Chris do all the work. So this is strategic stuff going on here because they've got the fuel as well. So if we, look, if we do a bit of a fuel check here, so Dan's got a quarter of a tank. His tyres are starting to go. You can't change tyres. Harry's got less. Jimmy's got less. So Dan's looking good here. His tyres are not looking the best, but he's looking good for fuel, which means he'll have a short stop. And if we then look at Mike, Mike's going into fourth now. He's taking the lead from Chris. So Mike is, again, not brilliant on fuel. His tyres look pretty good. Chris's tyres actually amazingly look superb. He's on mediums. So is Mike. And Chris look, uh, Cross has lot, dropped up way a bit here. He's going to have to work a bit harder. And his fuel's looking good, though. So he's been saving fuel. He's on the super softs. We go up the front. Right, here okay, So... Jimmy's now taking the lead, and they're probably pitting now. I think they're all going to be diving in the pits since they are. Who's going to stay out? Let's have a look. No, they're staying out. They've got one more lap in it. It's an 18 lap race. So the, the two leaders side by side. So Jimmy's now on the outside. We've got his team. They're two BMWs fighting each other. They could do well to, to work together. But now we've got Mike. And it looks like Mike. And so the, 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 uh, we, I think we're going to have a six-way battle here. The... the Four, five, and six. They've done a very clever move here. They've not been battling amongst themselves too much. They bring themselves back into play. That gap was like 1.7 seconds now, and it's down to 0.8. So, very clever driving by those three, and they're now picking up the toe. And we've got a six-way battle for the lead as we come into the pit stops. Look at this: six cars all within. Oh, I think it's less than a second. <laughs> they were all coming in together. Right, here we go. All coming in together. It's a battle. They cannot change the tyres. If any of them change tyres, they're going to get penalised. Do not change tyres, guys. It's purely fuel. And we're halfway through the race, so they're probably all going to fully tank up. We're going to see who's going to come out first. Mike, this is going to be a, a battle of the pit stops now. They cannot change tyres. We've got who? someone's left. Let's see who comes out. So Jimmy's away. Who is that leading? So, Chris Cross, Chris Lewis, saving his fuel, has come out first. Brilliant strategy for me. He's got a big gap. He's got three and a half seconds, followed by Jimmy. And then um, Chris Pengelly's done a great job of fuel saving as well. And then you've got Mike Dan, who's lost out, was leading in all that for a long while, but he's lost out. So he's down to fifth. And then you've got um, Harry, who was obviously doing really well. He's battling with Jimmy. So the BMWs are obviously quite thirsty and they've had to take on a lot of fuel. And then you've got um, Alex um, at the rear. Uh, I think he's probably three and a half seconds. He's probably off the tail now. So Chris Lewis, four seconds to the good now. Can the others catch him? Will the tyres hang on? Jimmy's on super softs. Chris Pengeli is on soft in the medium, so he's gonna his tyres are gonna be good. Now they're gonna they see yeah, they're now bump drafting each other. That's the only way they're gonna catch the leader. So we've got um, Harry's a little bit off the back here, but he's gonna catch up as long as he doesn't make any mistakes. We've got a five-way train. So the question is, can they all work together now? He's on a bit of a battle with Mike, he's gone past Mike, but these guys have now got all work together to catch Chris Lewis, who's now got a five-second lead and is extending it. He's on super soft, though. So he's going quicker. This is where the understeer starts to see. And he's got a huge lead. He's pulled out another second. I was like, this is incredible stuff from Chris Lewis. Let's see what his first flyer is. So he's done a 
on the in, in free air, Dan and Charters, who seconds, are 50.9. So the uh, Aston there was phenomenally quick. Phenomenally, 50.1. He's ah, here we go. So um, Harry's now taking uh, second place. He's got a bit of a gap, but that's enough for Dan to get back on him. So he's done a 49.8. So actually, th these guys are going to work together because Chris uh, Lewis is gone. So let's see what's going on in third. So we've got the battle between uh, Jimmy and um, Dan as usual. Oh, a bit of bump in there. Uh, could be a steward's move. I don't think it's going to cost Dan too much time. So he's going underneath uh, Jimmy. So these two are always locked in battle. These two need to work together now to catch back up of uh, of um, Harry, who's come up from second to fifth. It shows the uh, pack racing going on here. And then we've got a bit of a gap now back to Mike, who's taken fifth from uh, Chris Pengelly. That Peugeot struggles around here. So I think, well, well, well I think if they work together, because it's 18 laps, so we've still got another five laps to go yet. If they work together, they can maybe pull up, so let's have a look at the front, so, yeah, Chris Lewis has got a handsome lead. And he's going quicker as well. 5.8 seconds, let's have a look what's going on in seconds, so, these two have got a bit of a gap now behind them, and Jimmy's not that far behind. And now, I think, I think, I think, second and third, they've changed tyres, you know. I think we have to let's put a message out. Right, but I think second and third have changed tyres, you know. I don't know. Those softs are pretty unworn. Oh, there's a big battle going on between the pair of them, though. They're scrapping. And it's allowing uh, Jimmy to catch them up. I think these two might have to go back in the pits, you know. I think their tyres are looking pretty... Yep. They've, uh, unfortunately, they've been penalised. They both changed tyres and they shouldn't have done. They shouldn't have done that, unfortunately. That's ruined it for those two. ruined it for those two. Oh, what a shame for the pair of them. So that's giving Criss Cross a huge lead now. Jimmy's into second with a big gap now to third. So we've got a battle for the last podium between these two. Uh, got a big gap to third and fifth as well. Those two, they forgot not to change tyres. It's very easily done in the heat at the moment. So let's follow these two now. Side by side, let's go on board with Chris. He's chasing Mike down. We're going to do a bit of sideways moving, which is good. Is he going to get alongside? Is he going to wait? I imagine he's probably going to wait. Let's go watch the tow as we watch the uh, Peugeot get towed towards us. I think Chris is probably going to sit there and just wait and wait and wait until the last lap. We're on the penultimate lap now. Oh, the Peugeot's so much faster. There we go. Peugeot's gone straight through. Let's go on board with Mike now. He's going to sit behind that Peugeot, I think that could be tactical for Mike, we'll see. It's a bit of a gap now around the rest of it, well this is by far the closest battle, here we go, so here he goes, we're looking inside, there we go, down the inside is Chris, we're alongside him, oh, is he going to go around, he's got, he's got past him, there goes Mike, let's go on board now with uh, Chris. Into the last lap we go. I think it's pretty done deal that uh, Chris Lewis is going to win this, but we're staying on board now with uh, Chris Pengelly. Is he going to make a move down the inside? Topping out 160 mile an hour. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. All right, let's have a quick look at what Chris is doing. So Chris is coming down the home straight. A big lead now over Jimmy Coleman. Big lead. All right, we'll keep an eye on where Chris is. He's just come around the last corner. Um, last corner so let's go back so we got let's go on board so we can see now it's Mike there we we'll keep an eye on the uh, leaders he's sorry Mike he, right so we have a quick look at Chris so Chris is going to come across the line now so Chris Lewis great win for him 
He comes across the line, brilliant for him. And Jimmy's going to come across second. Great second for him. So we're going to go back to the third. Side by side, looks like Chris Pengelly's just got it. He's going to get him just. Just for third into fourth is Mike, and then Dan is going to Dan gets it just from uh, Harry. It's an amazing race. Unfortunately, those two uh, were, were uh, had to do that uh, extra stop, and that's really cost them dear. But uh, superb race there. Let's take a picture of that. That was a mega, mega, sorry, mega win from um, Chris Lewis. Mega, mega win. Fantastic. It was a pack racing up to the uh, the first stop, and Chris did a very clever job of saving fuel. Very clever. Um, so let's take a quick picture of that. But that was superb. So we got Chris Lewis. A great win there. Um, a second for Jimmy, which I think is his best uh, best result so far in DTCC. Um, seven seconds behind in the end, so this just shows the Aston was the, the pace. And then Peng Chris Pengelly, he'd be really pleased with that. It was not the f he probably had the the uh, slowest car in the field, and he got a great third from Mike on the line, who finished fourth in the uh, um, Cayman. Dan will be Dan and Harry will be ruining that extra tyre change. Dan got to fifth; he was leading for quite a long while. Harry sixth, and then Alex second, uh, seventh. What a fantastic race. Dan will get the bonus points for um, fastest lap though, so brilliant race. Brilliant race. Right, so we'll just set everything up for the uh, second race and we will be back in about 10 minutes.
Hello, welcome back. So, just getting ready for the second race of the evening. So this is round seven. Um, DTCC. Always we have two races per evening. So we're just now watching. Just guys getting some testing and get used to the group threes, which are quite a lot faster than the group uh, fours so they race in the first race. So we did, uh, I think 49 was the quickest, we're doing 43 now, so this again, I don't, the toe doesn't seem to be quite so strong in the uh, group threes, the group fours, but uh, it's still going to be a bit of pack racing, so maybe not quite as much, though. this is going to be, I think, uh, this is going to be, I think, more key for the drivers not to make mistakes, so I think the toe doesn't work quite so well. Alright, let's just make sure the guys are ready. So, longer format, so the Group 4 race was 15 minutes, this is 25, so it was 18 laps for the Group 4, this is 35 laps. Usual format that they have to use two different compounds. I think we're just waiting for everyone to confirm the reds to go, and then we'll be we lift off the second race. Double check, got everything in the grid order is correct. So, reverse the grid from the um, finish of the first race. So, Alex came was last, so he's on pole, which is not such a good thing, I think, in the ovals. But uh, then we had Harry, he was second, so he's second on uh, sixth, so he's second. Dan was fifth, so he's third. Mike was fourth, so he's fourth. Chris did a really good job getting a podium to get, uh, so he's fifth on the grid. Jimmy, a brilliant second, uh, so he's sixth, and then Chris, who won dominated the second half of that race, is last. So, we are ready to go. And then, here we go. So, this is going to be another exciting race. So, hopefully, this is good. That's the first one. Rolling start again. We've had to drop the uh, the fuel uh, degradation has dropped from this for this, uh, this particular round because the uh, cars eat their fuel on the oval. So rather than uh, four times normal, it's down to uh, two times normal. But they're still probably have to stop twice for fuel. So let's get it going. What's the nerve wracking bit? To Make sure it starts right. So let's go from the start. So Alex is going to lead them away into the first corner. And then the slipstream and commence. So he's first, Harry second, Dan third, Mike fourth, Chris fifth, Jimmy sixth, and then Chris Lewis backing them up. So let's try and get the wide angle shot. Here we go, rolling the start, and away they go. Alex leads us away over the line for the first and this is just going to be one long chain as they all try and vie for the toe they go into the first corner Alex leads them in and then we've got Harry in second and then Danny third as they come out the first corner and we've got uh, a little bit of a gap so Harry's got a good start there and he's already chasing Alex down he's bumping drafting him as well trying to get a bit of a gap that's clever driving from the pair of them Trying to, well, they've already got a, uh, a second lead. So Harry's going around the outside though. A little nudge. He's not going to make a move just yet though, I don't think. They come around the last corner to uh, complete the first lap to see what's going on behind. So we've got Dan Z in third. He's still got, he's got Mike and Chris Pinkley. So we're in order. Nothing's changed. It looks like Chris Lewis has dropped a little bit off the back. Hopefully that won't uh, hinder him. So we look at the front. So Alex is still leading from Harry. Good first lap there from Alex. I think that's one of. The, I think that's the first lap he's led. Um, so these two working quite nicely. I think you can see they've got a second lead now, and Harry's being clever. He's not going past. He's bumping him to give him a bit more of a speed boost. So they've got 1.1 second lead now from these two. And then we look there. So we've got Mike and Chris Lewis and uh, Chris Bengali battling. And then um, we've got all. So 35th of a one long train. And uh, yeah, it shows the strength of the, uh, the toe that uh, Chris Lewis has caught up the back of him. So Dan's leading this uh, this group, and again, if they're clever and uh, don't battle too much, Mike's going down, going down low to the inside. Uh, oh, 
a bit of a bum and Chris Pingale has gone through as well the bit of a touch and Dan got punted into the wall there that's going to put him back a bit I think that's a bit unlucky there's a bit of contact there but uh, I don't think he'll have too much of a problem catching that back up again it's as if he moves the toe we see the two the front two now I've got a one point I've got 1.5 second advantage working together the pairing brilliant driving by the front two it's going up as well it's 1.6 uh, they just touched the wall there. That's going to cost them a bit. Yeah, you can see the Harry lost a couple of attempts there. So it's looking behind. So we got Mike. He's up to third. Chris Pengelly sitting behind him in fourth. Is that a move going on there? No, I don't think there's a move going on there. The Harry's dropped a little bit behind. So let's go back to this. Look at this. So the, the third to seventh in one line. And they're just working as a team trying to catch that gap up again it was 1.7 it's now 1.4 it's working so Mike's been pushed along Chris goes wide goes high to uh, avoid having to lift and we've got a bit of bumping in between the uh, some of the between Jimmy and uh, Chris Chris Lewis has passed Dan obviously Dan got the knock um, Oh, it looks like way. So it looks like Jimmy's going to go down here. So I've got a three-way, three-way battle into the first corner. Jimmy's up to third. Look at that. He went from fifth to third in one brilliant move. Takes the lead of this train. Not always the place you want to be. It looked like uh, Chris and uh, Mike's gone a bit wide there, but he's back. He's now down to sixth. Was in third. He's down to sixth. But then you got Chris Lewis. So let's go, let's go on board with Mike. Watch some of this action. We got Chris right behind us. There he is. And if we're looking in front of us. We've got the battle in there for third. Just sitting there. It's probably worth saving some fuel. The front two are flying. Oh, it looks like he's gone down the inside. Can we see him? No, we've gone past. We've gone past. Bit of understeer though, and yeah, bit of a bump. So we can see there. If we look behind us, bumper cam behind us. Chris Lewis, I'm not going to go past you. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a bump to get you moving. So we look forward now. Chris Penke takes over the lead. He's trying to go down the inside. It looks like. Uh, Jimmy's sticking it out wide but hanging on. Let's have a look at the times now. Oh, look at the toe. Look at the toe that Mike's getting. Is he going to be bumping? Yes, he is. Bumps the pair of them. Oh, he's got down the inside there. We look at that. He's alongside him. We go into the last turn. Oh, can we see what's going on? Look at this side by side. Bumping. Little bumps going on. And look, we've now got a three three way three way in front of us look at this go just to the side we got past Chris and we got Mike in front of us and we go past Mike as well uh, sorry we're going past Jimmy as well no we're not Flick to the front what's going on behind us we come out with the car again and uh, look we got to Chris Cross right behind Mike now so Chris Lewis right behind Mike there's some of those we see what the gaps going on so it's two seconds now two seconds the guys in front, Harry is playing an absolute blind here. He's just giving Alex. Alex has never led this long. He's just giving him the bump. And just, you know, they're banging in what? Mid, low 40, 43s. Look, he's just giving him a bump. That was a bit of a slow lap, though. I don't know what happened there. That's probably not right. I don't believe that's a 52. But they're now two seconds behind. Uh, in front of the guys in front is uh, Harry deciding he's going to starts uh, pu he's pushing now so Harry's decided he's going to go I think he's decided I'm going to go he's, Alex must have made a mistake there let's have a look at fuel so go back and stand this like that let's have a look what's going on behind so we've got look at this this pack racing is absolutely amazing and it looks like Mike's got up to third now so and a bit bumping going on but they're all really really close and Alex has been dropped now, so Harry's decided to go. He said, right, I've had done enough of this uh, helping you out. I'm just going to let this thing loose. He's making a break for it. He's already got 1.4. He's pushing. He's pushing really hard. A bit of a nudge there. Alex looks like... So look at the tyres. Yeah, Alex is on super softs, and Harry's on softs. So they have to use two different compounds. So here we go. So it looks like the battle for third is slowly catching up. Uh, Alex, but they're 2.3 away from Harry now. This is going to come down the stops. Mike's going down low. He's got Jimmy up high. These cars look amazing in NASCAR spec. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. We've got a three-way. Let's go on board. 
What have we got here? No, we've got nothing going on. Let's go on board here. There we can see he's gone down the inside of the mic. Oh, there's a bit of a squabble there, what went on there, Michael, a bit of a tank slapper, I'm not sure there. We've now got Chris Lewis right behind us, and we've dropped a bit, so Chris is bumping us, there you can see the effect of the bump. There we go, so we've seen outside our mirror. Oh, that's, uh, that BMW's got some run, he just blasted past the Aston. We now go on board. Is he going to bump uh, Chris? They need to work together a bit to uh, catch up here. We look behind us. Uh, this is Chris Lewis behind us. This is a real tactical game. Three seconds in it. He's gone a bit wide. He's gone a bit wide, but he gets good. Uh, gets very good drive out of here. He's tactical though. Look, he's bumping him. This is good stuff. We got a three-way now. Look, we got the Aston behind us, and we got the Peugeot right in front. Watching now. There we go. What's Chris doing behind us? Dropped a little bit back, but that's not a problem. There we see Alex Pierce. He's now beginning to suffer, I think, with tyre wear. Let's have a look at the tyres. So they're on soft. They do have to do a stretch on uh, super softs. Right, so they've caught Alex now. Uh, and uh, so Alex Pierce lets his teammate go through. He's uh, he's not, maybe not, I think he's maybe thinking, I'm going to sit behind you for a bit and I'm going to back off and save a bit of fuel possibly. But what we don't want is uh, Alex Pierce to act as rear gunner for his teammate. So up front, we've got Harry, he's got a nice 2.7 lead now. His fuel starting to flash though. His rear tyres are looking uh, a bit warm, but that's okay. There's going to be a stop coming up. It looks like this is going to be a fairly straightforward two-stop race. Is he going to come in? Yes, in he comes. He's coming in. What's going on? Peugeot's in, so Chris is in, Jimmy's in, Harry's in. But we've got so Alex decides to stay out and we've got Chris Cross now. He's taking over in second. He says, I think with some look. So Chris Lewis again is doing a brilliant fuel saving job. This is gonna win him the race again. This is gonna be interesting. So Harry's come out in third. Let's see what goes on here. So we've got, right, so Jimmy and Chris have come out together. Mike has come out. Mike's a bit behind now, so Mike's dropped off a bit there. I wonder if his car's a bit heavy on fuel. Some of them what's going on. So here we go. The two leaders coming in. Interesting, interesting. So Alex decides to get rid of those tyres. And then we've got Chris, whose tyres were better. He's got, he's going to take less fuel on. So let's see what goes on. So Harry's coming around the last corner now. Is Chris going to get out? He's not moving yet. I think he's going to, Harry's going to go past. So uh, let's have a look. Chris is rolling. Chris is rolling. So Harry's passed. Let's have a look. What's going on for third? I think, I think Chris has jumped. Chris has jumped just into second. But I don't think he's got enough of a gap now. He's out of the toe, but this is going to be critical. Can he get enough of a jump to get out of the toe from Jimmy? I don't think so. You can see that Jimmy's now, it probably looks like it'd be about a second. Looks to be about a second. And yeah, they've, they've catched him quickly. Yeah, look at that. You can see, get within a second and then they just pull him in. Just pull him in straight away. I think you need a second and a half to be clear of the toe and then you can do your own race. But get within a second and it's just... You know, they pulled that up in a straight. And Chris uh, Lewis, again, he's flying. He's done a 42.8, he's his fastest. Can he, uh, can he clear these two? He's good on fuel. I think he'll just sit there and bump. So let's go on board with Chris. We've got Chris Lewis behind us. And then we've got Jimmy right in front of us. Oh, there we go. Chris is looking down the inside, but I don't think he's going to make it, but we might be there. Isn't we there? No, there's no one there. There we are. He's behind us. So we're looking behind us now. Let's see if we can just catch up with, uh, see that, the effect of the toe. He's making it look, though. He looks like he's going down the inside. He's got, we've got, yeah, we've got to move down the inside. Going car. Oh, missed it. There we go. So we've got, 
got Chris, uh, they said we're in a Chris sandwich now. Jimmy's in a Chris sandwich. The bump in, gives him a bump. Chris behind us doing the same. Oh, look at this. There we go, he's going past. Oh, he's through. The hook cam from Chris Pengelly, and we got Chris Lewis is uh, making the move now as well. There he goes. Let's go outside. And all the time, Harry's now got a six second lead. Let's have a look at him. He's six seconds up. He's flying along. That BMW's got some serious pace. His teammates in second, so we've got BMW 1 2, but he can't, unfortunately, Jimmy cannot get rid of these, the train behind him. He's still got to be sensible now and try and work together. Can they catch six seconds up? That's going to be crazy. So let's look down the field. We've got Snooze. He's falling off the back a bit. Dan. Uh, so Dan and Mike need to work together. We'll keep an eye on these two. They're ten seconds off. So they're only, they're only five seconds off. Battle for seconds. If these two are sensible and bump each other, then they can catch this up. They've got, to be, they've got to work together. They're not that far behind, but they've got to work together. They're not scrapping with each other. They've got to work together. Otherwise, they'll get they'll drop it further back. So you watch these guys. They're all working together, but they're still they're not gaining on the. Uh, I think they're limited here by Jimmy's pace. They're not really gaining an awful lot here. So this is interesting. So if we look at the championship, Chris Pengelly is first, and Chris Lewis is second. On drop scores, there's 23, uh, 23 points between them. Um, and obviously, Chris won the first race. So, if he can get a decent result here as well, he, he's going to make a few points up on Chris Pengelly. Harry, unfortunately, has had a few uh, technical problems and he's dropped a couple of races. Um, but he's still he's still in the mix for at least second place. But uh, these, these three are not catching the leader. Harry is flying. He's doing mid-43s. And the same pace as these three. So these three are all bump drafting each other, but they're not catching Harry at all. Oh, a bit of a nudge there. Chris touched the wall, but you see, they can all, as long as you can stay within a second, it's absolutely fine. Let's see what's going on. So Alex is now 2.7 off the back, but he's, he's holding his own. These two are scrapping, and they should stop it. They should work together. They're doing full, you know, 44s now. They need to sit behind each other to save a bit of fuel. I mean, Mike's on half the tank. So Mike's got better fuel. Chris Pengelly's saving fuel. Chris from Lewis has got loads of fuel. Jimmy's got half the tank as well. So Harry, whilst he's gone and he's 6.2 up front, he's got one more fuel stop left and he's going to have to put on a lot more fuel. So if we look at, say, Jimmy, Jimmy's got a third of a tank left. Chris Lewis is doing a staggering job of, uh, of fuel saving. He's just sitting there thinking, I'm sitting here in th it's third now. I'm just going to save fuel and let Chris do the work. Let's go, let's go, let's go on board with uh, what it looks like from the Aston Martin point of view. Let's have a listen, let's see if he's uh, lifted. Get behind. He's going to drop Jimmy a bit actually. Jimmy's 8 temps and he's dropping behind a bit as well. Yeah, you can see a feather in the throttle. Feather driving by Chris. Yeah, he's lifting nicely. Let's have a look at where Jimmy is behind. So he's a little bit behind. Let's have a look at the timing. Is he close enough to get the toe? These, these second and third now are making a bit of a break for it. Jimmy's got a bit of a gap to four, so he's not worried there. No, sorry, Chris, um, put the trap to fifth, so he's not worried there, but he needs to get in that toe, I think he's in range, if he can hold it now, watch, here we go, so he's eight tenths, still gaining a bit, and that's because Chris Lewis is in the toe of Chris Pengelly, so, he's been pulled along, just cannot, cannot, cannot get close enough, he's got to stay neat and tidy, doing that won't help, you see the gap just goes up, by couple of tenths straight away. He's got to be keeping the entirely Jimmy and you can get gain on them but oh he's going to the pits. Okay here we go. So come out of the car. Jimmy's pitting. Interesting. So he's decided he's got ten laps to go. No sorry we've got 
Uh, I think that's probably 13 laps to go. Interesting strategy from him. He's, I think he's probably decided he's not in the toe, so he can't do anything. Harry is now 5.3, so the second and third are now slowly catching. Look at the, the, so Harry's fuel's um, lit, so he's going to have to come in for a bit. Chris Lewis has got a third of a tank left yet. That's amazing. So when he comes in, his tyres aren't looking too bad, but when he comes in, he's going to be way out. Of, well, he's certainly going to be rivaling Harry. So Harry's in now. Kitchen those super softs. He's probably going on to another set of super softs. Probably going to have to fill it up. And we've got now Chris Pengelly now takes the lead. With Chris Lewis just sitting behind him. This is this is difficult for Chris Pengelly because he can't slow down. But he can't get rid of Chris off his back either. Alright, so now we've got Mike is, is catching up Chris. Dan's in the pits now, so this is interesting from Dan. So Dan's in the pits. He was eight seconds off the lead, so he closed up as well. So it all comes down to the fuel strategy now. Harry's come out in fifth. He's 17 seconds off the lead. And all right, so here we go. So, oh, oh, oh I thought I both missed the pit stops there. <laughs> so, battle of the pit crews. Chris Lewis is going to come out quite a long way in front of uh, Chris Pengelly, I think. Let's watch for Harry. Let's see where Harry is, number five. So, he's coming around the last turn now. Let's see what's going on with Chris Lewis. Chris is out. Where's Harry? Let's have a look for Harry. Is he coming out in front of Harry? Yes, he has. So, Harry is quite a long way back yes he is he's as it plays out he's four, four roughly four seconds behind yeah 4.6 Chris has gained 10 seconds on Harry there so Alex is still leading and he's making that fuel go he's, he's doing a good job there so he's back in the lead where he was to start with so we've got Chris Lewis now is 4.6 in front of Harry there's Harry in third Jimmy Coleman's come out in fourth Chris Pengelly has come out in fifth, so Chris has been a bit of a loser there. He's um, he went in in, in what second place? Uh, where was he? Second and third, second place. That Peugeot is obviously quite heavy on fuel. Plus Chris Lewis um, was towing him for quite a long time, so he's come out in fifth. Mike is in sixth, and Dan is in seventh. So Dan's now 2.7, 27 behind Snooze which effectively is about 20 seconds of the lead up. So Alex is coming in this lap. If his fuel makes it, he's really pushing his fuel, but he's done a good job. He's going to have a short stop. His tyres look a bit knackered, but he's going to have a nice short stop. So in he goes, so Chris, uh, Chris Lewis will take the lead, but he's now only three, four seconds ahead of... Yeah, look at that, Harry's coming. So 43.8 from Chris. 43-3 from Harry. Half a second quicker. Game on. Let's have a look. So Jimmy's first fly now for 43-7. That compares against 43-8. So third and third are doing similar times. 43-5 for Chris Pengelly, and I think he's about to get a sniff of the toe. Snooze has come out in fifth. So a great strategy from him. He's got Mike now right behind him. Again, if these two work together, they can get themselves back. Yeah, that's, that's good, good driving by Mike. Let's go on board with Mike now. That's it, keep bump drafting him. Gain that uh, four, three or four seconds up to the uh, guys in front and give yourself a chance for a podium here. Watch. There we go, watching the Porsche. Oh, he's, there we go, nice little bump. Going to the first corner, Alex leaving his braking pretty late. So Mike going to come back at him. Mike's just thinking, oh, I'm just going to cruise round and come back at you in the toe. Let's go back on board with Mike. So you can see the gap, 5.5 of a second, now it comes down. This corner's flat, so he just cruises straight up. So that gap was 15 seconds, it's now under, under 15. Up into the uh, battle for third, so Chris has caught and passed Harry. But these two are now alongside each other. Let's go on board. There we can see Harry going down the inside. Chris uh, breaks late, so Chris is quick through that first corner. Unless Harry's just thinking, right, I'm just going to sit behind and let you uh, pull me along. 
So they're doing, doing 43, 43 7 there. You can see Chris doing a good job. He's towing everyone today. Oh, a bit of braking there, a bit of bumping around the corner. But we're still doing, uh, doing a good job. They're not, they're 10 seconds behind now, but they're slowly catching. A bit of bumping, this is the way to do it. So if we go back on board, see so he's 2.7 now. With 2.7 in front, so we've got a battle here. Chris Lewis, a 43.8, 43.8, 43.8, 43.8. OK, you can't criticise Chris Lewis for not being consistent, but 43.5, 43.5, 43.4, 43.3, 43.3. So we're taking three to half a second every lap out. Of, uh, so we are going to have a battle. If he can get within a second, Harry is coming at him. Interestingly, Chris Lewis, there we go. He did not change his tyres. He did not change his tyres. Wow, OK, this is game on. And the battle for third, they're nine seconds off the lead now, so I think this is the battle for third between Chris Pengelly and Chris uh, and Jimmy, who will come out of this one. And if we look behind us, these two are slowly catching them. They're catching the leader. They, they pulled another second on him. I think they're just a little bit too far behind. And Dan, Dan's doing quick, some good times. He's in the 43s, but uh, he's just off the back. Just off the back and didn't uh, put the thing on. So, down to two seconds. Four laps to go. We're down to two seconds. Can he hang on? His tyres, his rear tyres, are looking dreadful. Down to 1.6, 1.7. Got a good drive out of there, but Harry's catching him. Harry is catching him. Let's go to third. They're catching as well. Seven seconds, though. I don't think they're going to catch that in three laps. But this is going to be a battle for second as well. Uh, battle for third. Let's have a look at the respective fuel. Chris has got a quarter of a tank. Chris has got a lot of fuel, actually. He's overfueled, if anything. He's got way too much. He's carrying some fuel there. Right, back to the leaders. Down to 1.4. Three laps to go. It's 1.4. If Harry can get within one second, it's so close. He's going to get the toe. Watch that time gap. Chris uh, Lewis gets a really good drive coming out of that corner. Down to 1.2. We'll come back to that one. Battle for second, still ra uh, third, still raging. This one's going to go all the way to the wire. Let's have a look. We've got a battle for fifth, is still raging as well. They've done, they did a good job. They've, been, they've, they've taken time out of the leader, but they're just too far behind. And then we've got Dan. Yeah, he's six seconds off now. Great looking car, a little bit off the lead. Right, let's have a look at the front. It's down to less than a second. And we've got some looking car from Harry. We've got two laps to go. And it's less than, and we're going to be in the toe. We're going to be in the slipstream. Is he going to just go, I'm just going to come straight past you and not hang around? Or is he going to sit and wait for the last lap? Here we go. Is he going to bump draft him or is he just going to... He's going to bump draft him. Look at the speed differential. Gives him a nice big tap. He's going to wait for the last corner. Oh, he's gone past. He's gone past. He's decided to go for it. He's going to go for it. He thinks, I've got the grip. I can get the draft out of the uh, final corner, the, uh, the first corner. So, can Harry make the break? He's pulling away all the time. Can he make the break? Here we go. Critical last corner. He's a second up. He's 1.3 up. I think he's broken him. Phenomenal move. He's broken him. He's broken the toe. Last lap. He's going to do it. He's pulling away as long as he doesn't make a mess in the last couple of corners. And Chris Pengelly has got a bit of a gap now to, uh, to Jimmy as well. But Jimmy's getting the toe as well. Let's go on board with Jimmy. Here we go. He's, he's going to give him a few bumps. We're watching the, so Harry, Harry's going to come across, we've got battle for third, so we'll watch this for a bit and then we'll look at Harry. Let's go to Harry as he's coming across the line, so a fantastic win for Harry. Phenomenal win as he comes across the line, what a great win. Superb for Chris, so he'll be pleased with that. That was a good second place, led virtually all the way to the end, but here we go, so he's going to cross the line, it's going to be Chris Pengelly just gets it from Jimmy Coleman. Fantastic finish there, we look at, and Alex has beaten Mike as well. Dan comes up in last. 
glorious last, but a great, still a good race from him. He got dropped off the back, so uh, what a phenomenal race there from uh, Harry. Took him on the last lap. Brilliant result, brilliant result. He'll be dead chuffed with that. Dead chuffed. Timed it perfectly, he led, he had a long lead, and then Chris Lewis took the gamble of not stopping. Um, uh, sorry, not changed his tyres. So, a fantastic race there. Fantastic race. That's, I think it was the best one we've ever had. That was brilliant. So, a great win for Harry. Um, Chris Lewis, a good night for him. He won the first race. Good second. He almost had it, but his tyres, I think, just gave up. Uh, really good uh, second podium there for Chris Pengelly in the car that wasn't the quickest. Fought well there, drove really well. Just beating Jimmy, who also had a good night, a second in the first race. Alex got himself up to fifth, good effort for him. Uh, Mike, they couldn't quite get themselves up. Um, I think the fuel probably played a part. They dropped off the back and uh, they couldn't quite get himself back up. And then Dan finishing in seventh. And fastest that was Chris Lewis, so he gets a couple of bonus points for that. So that was round seven of the DTCC. Um, brilliant race at the uh, uh, first race at the Oval. Um, I think we'll have to do those again. So next race will be in two weeks' time. Uh, that will be back to the usual sort of track in terms of not an Oval. Um, we'll be back at Bathurst. So the legendary track down in Australia um, over the mountain of Bathurst and that's going to be a great race as well so thank you for joining um, and we will see you for the next race uh, my name is Matt Sykes I've been your host and broadcaster um, and we'll see you in two weeks time